Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. With me, Get Daved. Yeah, we'll go with this party for now. So I just started the video exactly when I did because I was at my favorite part of the music and I wanted you all to listen. I'm a giver like that. <laughs> That's what the lack of content was all about. So we've seen the Shiva summon, I'm going to switch it up for Ifrit. Ifrit. I bizzle to his friends. And... We're about to get the same mix-up I had before with Yuffie and the or Yuffie in the party, where I wasn't exactly sure what role to use with her, but she can be another support character just fine, I think. Hope you all find my materia configurations fascinating. In truth, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say that much how you configure them, um, as long as you cover some of the basics, like... At this point you should be noticing I have a big uh, thing for using Restore paired with All. Quake is also a little bit stronger than other elemental spells, so not a terrible choice. And you can't go wrong with enemy skill. And change of plans. I'm actually going to give enemy skill to Yuffie. And one last change. Enemy skill does not gain ability points like other materia do. So we shouldn't waste putting it in a double materia growth item. I know I said it wasn't that important before, but we still shouldn't be wasteful. So we have a bit of a walk ahead of us now. Professor Gas told us head west, so that's where we're gonna head. Can't cross that river at the ex exact moment. We will be able to one day. And this is the enemy I wanted to show you. They're highly memorable. You'll see why in a moment, I'm sure. Grand Gallon, okay. Well, I guess we'll just kill this one then. And for no reason in particular, I'm just gonna keep you if you turn handy. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to think that that's a counter-attack. This is probably going to kill a lot of them. Now, you can kill them before they multiply like that, but there's a lot less uh, experience points in it for you. Because 363, that's not bad. And almost 500 gold. They also can respawn those enemies as you kill them. I don't know if I'd recommend them for grinding experience, but it's something that happens. If you ever got the demo of the PC version of Final Fantasy VII, this here is the area that you could do, coming right up on it. You'd already seen that fight, so no need to watch it again. Also, remember this cave right here. We won't be able to get to it for a really long time, but remember that it exists. We've heard this song before, but I do quite enjoy it. I find it very peaceful. Maybe not so much this one. Uh, these enemies are kind of interesting. I believe there's a... 
enemy skill you can learn from them, although not always easily. Honestly, I will probably make a video of how to get all the enemy skills at the very end, and you can sort of reverse engineer how to get the best ones. Oh. We'll be using Matra Magic to get through a lot of these fights. Good news is Aerith's magic is quite strong. The bad news is she's on a much lower level than everyone else. And has a truly abysmal weapon. Her attack power is about the same as Cloud's was at the beginning of the game. Of course, the melody of this song is the same as the theme of Final Fantasy VII. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I can't. one thing about Yuffie, she's consistent throughout the entire game. She does not want to fight Sephiroth. She's got her own, own motivations for coming along. And although a lot of your goals are compatible, Sephiroth, not one of them. Or at least, directly fighting him is something she doesn't want to be part of. I don't think you're going to see anything new in this fight. Okay, I take it back. I had uh, Slow Down, and then I had Yuffie his Matra Magic, and they all used an attack called Spiky Hell, which did exactly 200 damage. So I guess it's a weak version of 10,000 Needles. Or Blowfish, if you played the US release of Final Fantasy VI. Because nothing scarier than a blowfish. Good enough for now. I learned my lesson and won't be using Mater Magic on them again. High encounter right here. So, this here Mako Reactor. Oh my goodness. Um. We're not going to go inside it or anything. We're not going to do much of anything with it right now. It's just there as a sight to see. Alright, didn't miss too much in that last vi er, fight. I did reconfigure my material to give enemy skill to Aerith instead. There we go, this is more like it. Stairs up top just lead back to uh, the Mako reactor we were just at, but it's a dead end. And along here is nothing really, so we're actually gonna go straight down these tracks. This is kind of an interesting area. You don't actually wanna press the circle jump or button to jump. You wanna hold right and mash the circle button as fast as you can. And we've done it! Got a star pendant. We have a couple of those already. Alright, some encounter against some bird enemies. If we get another one, I'll show you. W machine gun is a weapon for Dar Barret. It has double materia growth and okay stats. And now we're gonna hold to the left and pump circle. Very first time you play the game, it's hard to exactly catch what you're supposed to do there. I'm not sure what the minimum number of button presses to get these treasures is, but I mean, I wasn't exactly doing my Mega Man impression as I fell. Wizard Staff, a much needed upgrade for Aerith. Only thing I don't like is the loss of the connected slot, but we weren't using it anyway. Haha! <laughs> Je gagne! Alright, and we'll at least check and see what this- yeah, okay. So you should watch this fight. Use good old reliable Matra magic. 
If you had it on, we have two enemy skill materials. If you had Mantra Magic on both at this point, uh, and had two characters who could use it, it'd be quite awesome, actually. But uh, that's just excessive. A bolt plume. That's an item you can use in combat to hit all enemies with a bolt aside. Oh goodness. Turbo Aether. That's all your MP. Okay, now we press circle to jump. Transform Materia. I don't really care for it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, if memory serves, we should go up and... I don't think you really have to go down at all. So Cloud's Limit Break was ridiculously effective on those enemies. Although I would not mind... getting an upgrade to it. Hi, Tifa! Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Listen to her encouraging me. That was lovely. Cloud just gained Blade Beam. Again, I was too slow on the draw to show it to you. It said Blade Beam gamed, which means... One, he's killed a crap ton of enemies. Um... And we need to set his limit to level 2. Which you should just do as fast as you can. Blade Beam's actually really awesome. Oh, absolutely. It's a video game. Flick every switch. Blade Beam's really good. His next one, Klim Hazard, I actually don't know if I think it's even better. Either way, you should upgrade to the limit level 2 so that you can start learning your level your next limit break. That's just being practical. If you listen, you can hear the sound of birds. That means you can climb. Yeah, there's some treasure there. Uh, I usually live it where it is, but I've been making the wussy choice a bit too often. Times are tough. Ha! Like how Yuffie thought it was awesome. The mother attacks you, but uh, I know how to deal with her kind. This probably just puts the timer on you. Uh, quick tip. If a character has that uh, slow petrify status on, never use haste. It will double the speed of the clock and... It's relative to the other characters. Hello. We just took their feathers. That had to have been hard on his knees. So we loop on back. It's also worth noting, this area has a ton of kind of hidden things just off the beaten path that are really easy to miss. The uh, chocobo nest, that's one of them, but there's a whole bunch of other little things too. Oh, this could get interesting. We'll have an opportunity to see Yuffie's limit break, I'm pretty sure, so... Gonna have Aerithy's Matra Magic on the right side. That should eliminate the pincer. And now it's just one enemy. It's a pretty basic first limit break. Does triple damage. Oh, hey. Even though that was a critical hit, her attack power just took a great step forward. Leveling up will do that for you. And we finally got Fire 2.
Now, Red 13 comes with a fire material that's on a slightly... It's got quite a few ability points. But the others are not long off. So that's nice. One thing I've done before, even though these don't have any link slots, I have thrown um, an all materia into one of those double growth ones just to get your all materias mastered as fast as possible. It'll shave off a little bit of time later in the game. Also, aside from two weapons in the game that have triple materia growth, double is the best there is. Who's laughing now, pincer attack? <clears throat> so yeah, we gotta level up in that attack. And we'll just loop around this corner and head back behind for a couple special items. And a guy relaxing on a... <laughs> well, I robbed you, so there's that. Enjoy your bulldozer. What's the dozer part? Eh, whatever. Yet another short encounter, but it was an easy 400 experience points. 390. And I'm actually going to recommend a fair degree of caution on this stretch here. Um, there's bombs on this bridge, and at this point in the game, it's actually really hard to kill a bomb in a fight. Um, let's just check and see if we encounter one here. Nope, just surrounded by angry ostriches. Actually, now seems like a good time for my hilarious ostrich story. So I actually have a hilarious ostrich story. Well, more of a horror story, really. Growing up... I grew up in a small town. One of my friends had a farm. Several of my friends had farms, actually. But anyway, one had ostriches on the farm. One day I was having a sleepover at his place, and the next day I had to help out a little bit. My job was to keep the ostrich in the cage. The ostrich's name was Buster. He beat the crap out of me. Ostriches are remarkably strong. They can kill a lion with their kick. Fun fact. So my puny junior high self had to try keeping Buster in the cage. And Buster would have none of it. The story ends with Buster being turned into soup. One day, much day, much, much later. Okay, this is a bomb. This is your bomb on drugs. So you do two things, or do an action to it, it inflates. Do an action to it, it inflates again. One more, it blows itself up. So, without Ice 2 or Limit Breaks, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, but the planes keep come crashing always two by two. Yeah, there's one. If he damages any of us, there we go. Nope. The third time will re lead to an explosion. Okay, now the fact that you hit Aerith with that doesn't help me at all. Normally I appreciate her defensive limit breaks so much, but not today. You just sign it into your death sentence. And if this doesn't kill him, he's gonna blow up. We won't get any experience points. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. So yeah, blade beam, everybody. And a great ostrich story. Yep, Buster's sure dead now. Or punch it. Why, this place looks like it's in good shape. <clears throat> So 
Oh, Barrett, no one will understand your appreciation for techno music. Hey, so why are they attacking you? For the record, I don't really understand how it's Barrett's fault, but we'll deal with that when it comes up. I feel like he's more of a scapegoat. Is the answer Barrett? Huh. Oh, a little bit of senility kicking in. Why can't I be in your way? Maiden's Kiss, not really... Well, yeah, not really worth bringing it along. Cornucopia. I'm bringing a couple of those, because there are some catastrophes that can happen when your characters are minied. Usually, with Frog, on the other hand, if you encounter an enemy who can make you uh, a frog, they will change you back and forth and back and forth. The Force Stealer. Now, that was the other reward we could have gotten from the minigame we played back in June on. One less materia slot. Eh, it's a little stronger. I'll go for it. And to be honest, I thought he had... What was in that last Materia slot? Oh, probably an all. Well. Oh. Still got Elemental Materia on. Uh, I guess I'll stick it out with that. I don't normally employ Elemental Materia that much, but... I suppose that's good enough. And all the people here are jerks, so I'll talk to the normal townspeople, but I'm not going to explicitly ask for their story. Uh, I'm just going to recommend you not get a tattoo of a number for no reason whatsoever. They're just kind of bad luck in this game. That's a bargain! To stay in this trash heap? Coral in now with 80% less smell. There appears to be a gas pump inside the eh, whatever. Yeah, they had some bad luck with their Mako reactor. Is he the guy who's down in the dumps, so to speak? And you know what? I think I'm going to end it here because the story is about to break up and we're going to go into a new area really shortly. We're about to start the Coral arc and uh, that all belongs in a new series of videos. So I'll see you in the next video.